All right, tonight I got a couple of holes drilled in this X, uh, X's gantry tube. And then I, I drilled out these uh, 3 eighths inch of a hole, 1 inch from 1.25 inches center from the end on both of these. And then I cut them on the saw. It was pretty cool. I, um, I was able to. Could, wasn't able to use the clamp that came with the miter saw, but I was able to use my C clamp there and clamp the piece from here to the back of this, and it was very solid. And the clamp, the C clamp, because it's low profile on the end, didn't get in the way of this. This is like a 26 degrees, and that's the. Uh, although that, you know, I just looked at that. Huh, that's off. I'm gonna have to check. I thought it was good. Let's see. Oh, it's, it's looking okay. I'll just measure it to make sure. I might have to, to cut it again. Yeah, so getting these main parts done, then I have to do the, um, the gantry tube. I forget what it's called. Maybe it's the Y. Now it's the X gantry tube. I think that slides over that XS X's gantry tube that I showed you. And these two pieces get welded to the little section. Yeah, so that's the dirty two pieces that I cut because you need two of them. One from one end, one for the other. That was my little calculation there to figure out the angles. And then that is the tube that is two and a half inches with a 0.12 wall thickness that will slide easily over the two inch um, square tubing that I have. And those holes there for mounting the bracket that holds the ball bearings that will allow it to slide nicely. And so, let's see, I don't know if we can have, let's show any of the plans. Yeah, there we go. So that's what that looks like. So this part that I cut is going to get welded to this tube here. And then these flanges get installed. And the flanges have bearings. So the, now the bearing block is mounted to the flange. So that's what I'm working on. Yeah, buddy.